Today we're in Luke's Gospel, chapter 1. And after the birth of John the Baptist, we read of his father, Zacharias, and the words that he said. We read in verse 67, And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost, and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. In this passage we read of Zacharias being filled with the Holy Ghost. Christians are commanded in the Bible to be filled with the Holy Ghost or with the Spirit of God. Another way of saying this is to be controlled by the Lord, to surrender to the Lord, to allow him to have full control in your life. It's interesting to note that when Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost, he began to talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. And those who are truly filled with the Spirit of God and are surrendered to the Lord will speak about the Lord Jesus Christ because he is precious to them. And he praised the Lord. And that's something that every Christian should take time to do every single day, is to praise God for his great blessings. And the great blessing that he starts with is the visitation and redemption of his people. Zacharias says, blessed be God. Now, we can't give a blessing to God or we can't bestow a blessing on God. He's the one that blesses us. But what he is doing here as he says, blessed be the Lord, he's saying, I'm praising God, I'm worshipping God, I'm thanking God for who he is. And one of the things he thanks God for is the fact that God has visited his people. The word visited means to look upon and in looking upon to see a need and to try and help the person at the point of their need. You know, it's wonderful that the Bible tells us that God saw our need to be saved from our sin before this world was even created. Before one planet, star, tree or animal had been created by God, God knew that we had a need and made a plan to send a saviour into this world to save us from our sins. He's a God who sees all things. I wonder today as he looks at your heart, does he see a heart that's been made clean by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, a heart that loves him? Or does he see a heart that's still dead and trespasses and sins? We may be able to put on a show for others and they may think by looking at us that we are saved or we are walking with the Lord. But the Bible tells us that when man looks on the outward appearance, God looks upon the heart. And he knows your need today and he can meet your need today. Isn't it wonderful that the Lord is always watching over his people? One of my favourite Psalms is Psalm 121 and we read, I will lift up mine eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. When we lift our eyes up and view our God, we find one who is always watching over us. He never rests. He never sleeps. Even as we lie upon our bed sleeping, he is watching us. He knows everything about us. He knows what you're going through today, dear Christian. He sees what you're feeling. He knows those things that bless you and those things that hurt you. He sees you and meets you in all your need. He has visited us with salvation and we can visit him at the throne of grace in prayer often and leave our needs before him. Isn't it wonderful that God's visitation makes a difference? He has saved and redeemed so many people and I trust that you're one of them. There's a lovely hymn in our hymn book and it talks about the wonderful assurance that God understands everything that his people are going through. Bowed beneath your burden, is there none to share? Weary with the journey, is there none to care? Have courage, wayworn traveller, heed the Lord's command. Here's a thought to cheer you. 
Jesus understands. Yes, he understands. All his ways are best. Here he calls to you. Come to me and rest. Leave the unknown future in the master's hand. Whether sad or joyful, Jesus understands. He knows what you're going through today. Go to him in prayer and ask for his help.